Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to remotely control Cosmo, but no, not with a typical transmitter. That cannot be uh, done yet, well, maybe at some point in the future. We'll have to use our good old little cubes to control our friend Cosmo remotely. Let's see how we can do that. I have done a couple of videos on code lab and constructor mode and this is accessible through here discover and here code lab so I want to show today an example of what can be done in the constructor mode so I did a very simple uh, very simple uh, code here project number six so I'll show you what it does and then I'll show you uh, the code in details we will start by putting the cube in front of Cosmo. This is cube number one, two, and three. If you don't know about the cube uh, numbering, I invite you to look at my video, the cubes, where I explain this uh, in details. So the center cube will move Cosmo forward. This cube will turn Cosmo to the right, and this one will, will turn Cosmo to the left. If I had a fourth cube, I would make it to move uh, Cosmo backward, but we don't have four, of course, we only have three. Also, to have some kind of a light effect, to see that we have communication, I'm using the RGB uh, code, uh, it's easy to remember. So this one will spin red when we touch it, green and blue, and we will have the corresponding color in the LED here on the back of uh, Cosmo. So uh, let's uh, try the code now. So as you could see, very, very simple uh, uh, movements and you could see also the lights were matching. Now let's have a look at the code. So we are in Discover and the Code Lab like I said before and we need to go to Constructor Mode and this was, I was running project number 6 and this is it right here. Now, uh, well it takes a few seconds to load. Okay. The uh, upper uh, flag here that you see, I'm moving it off the screen a bit. We don't use it because the input or the start of the program will be by touching the cube. So if you look at cube number one here, this is why uh, numbering is important. So when I tap on number one, there is the red light spinning. And also we have the red light on the back of Cosmo. And Cosmo will turn left, so that is 90, minus 90 degrees at 70 degrees per second. So you can set also the speed. Looking at cube number 3 now, uh, blue, RGB, remember, and it will turn, in this case, right, so plus 90 degrees at the same speed. And when we were tapping on cube number 2, the middle one, we got the green light, and uh, Cosmo was driving forward. 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters at a speed of 70 millimeters per second or 7 centimeters per second. So as you can see, it's very, very simple coding. But like I said before, it shows the huge potential of what you can do with uh, Cosmo. So uh, I thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope it was uh, interesting. And I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.